Alrighty, I have a different video for you guys today. In this video, I am taking over a website from another agency that just could not complete the project. I'm really excited to work on this project. It is a brand new website. The person has a website from probably over 10 years ago now, and ultimately we're giving them a total refresh. Now, let me give you guys a little bit of a backstory on this before we dive into it. And I'm just going to be going through the process of basically what I have to do to ultimately clean up the website the best I possibly can, because there is a lot of work that was already done. And I think a lot of the work that's already been done is really, really good. So this company got hired out uh, by my customer and ultimately they were like, hey, we're gonna go take all these great pictures. We're gonna build this most amazing website. Now, from what I've been told, they were previously um, wedding photographers. So they got some sick pictures. And honestly, I'm a firm believer that great pictures transforms a website so if there's anything you take away from this video it's probably great pictures so they got some killer images on here but ultimately we have to go through we have to revamp revitalize and do a ton of tweaks to this so i'm going to be recording probably a two or three hour session of me uh editing working on this and i'm going to be stopping along the way to show you guys why i did some things but i'm going to give you guys a quick little overview on the website itself so this is currently the existing website. Now we've already done a bunch of work to it, uh, but the pictures are great. We've, we've got some book now buttons on here, right? We, you know, some testimonials, some images. I mean, these images are next level, but the, the pricing down here looks a little tacky in my opinion. This is, you know, we, we only just started working on it here, but the customer, his old website is this website here. So bird hunting Florida. Now look, I don't particularly care if you like or you don't like uh, hunting, but it's the person's paying us. It's a customer. I personally am a hunting uh, enthusiast, but hey, look, teach their own. Um, but it's, it's as you can tell, I mean, we're looking at 2013 all the way down here. Uh, and let me pull up my screen here so you guys can see it. But I mean, we're talking about a website from 2013, uh, arguably earlier than that, but that's probably the last time it was updated. So got some good images in here. Um, I mean, some really, really great images, probably taken on, on a phone of some sort. Um, but overall, great images. But some things like this, they're a little weird, right? Talks about what they offer. We got some quail and pheasant hunts on here. Right, and, and this is a GoDaddy built website. So that's uh, Doc, Dr. Angel Reyes here. We got Tommy uh, LeMay and Juan Rivera. And this is what they basically do, what they sell and how they do it. So they've told me a couple websites that they really like. So this is one of the websites they like. This is another uh, website that they like. I'm not exactly sure the difference and there's, there's probably some functionality difference here. Uh, and then we have Mexico bird hunting, right? So these are some of the example websites, but this is the website we have to work with here. Uh, there's a handful of pages already. I'm going to be going through all of that, but the old company that was working on it did an okay job. Now you're probably wondering if you've gotten this far, why did they get rid of the old company? Well, this website took three months and honestly, and I'm not hating on the fact that it took three months, but it's not a three month website. This is probably a two week to one month website going back and forth and waiting for revisions. Uh, the, the stuff that really takes time other than that, there's, you know, maybe two months if you're really slow, uh, on here, but ultimately there's quite a bit that needs to be changed on here. So I'm going to be going through that, giving this a complete overhaul. So without any further ado, I'm going to just jump right into it, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be looking at. This is his back end, right? This is, uh, the Wix editor. And then we have the other websites here. I'm throwing on headphones here cause I'm going to be listening to music. This is going to take me several hours to do, like I said, and I'm going to be stopping along the way to share my experiences, what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. And ultimately that way you could become a web better website builder. Or if you're looking to build a website for your own business, why I'm doing certain things that may stand out for your customers to help you make some more money, right? That's ultimately it. So I'll see you guys. This is probably going to fast forward in the matter of literally no time, but I'll see you guys on the other side.
So basically what I'm doing here is I'm just condensing everything, just trying to give it a little bit of a cleaner look. Remember, you got to keep in mind that this is the homepage. A lot of people think that the homepage needs to have all the information. No, it just needs to have a clean professional feel. So in this case, I'm doing a couple different things. One, I'm making sure that you know, the homepage is just clean and concise, which actually I like a lot of what they did. I think that this could be a full image, right? But I mean, other than that, they did a pretty good job. Well, I mean, we also cleaned up a lot of it, but we did a lot of work on the homepage here. I'm just getting rid of all the pricing. I just copied it onto a WordPad because it's just quite honestly not necessary on the homepage. And and the reason why I say it's on the homepage is because this is the footer, right? So when you click on it, you'll actually see that it's going to be the footer. This whole thing's the footer. It appears on every single page. It just looks tacky. So I want to just go, you know, the, the most important stuff, a contact area, uh, location, all that good stuff that needs to be on the, on the, on the bottom of the page every single time. So currently I'm going out to a website, a couple websites right now, where they offer uh, they offer free images, which I think is really important because a lot of people don't know that they can get free images online. Now, the images that you're going to get are not always going to be the best, but they're going to be pretty good for the most part. So I just need to go find an image of a quail, and sorry, Hunter here is saying hi, uh, but... I need to find a couple images that are going to kind of solidify this website because I don't have any. So when the photographer went to go out and get this, uh, they did not have access to quail. So basically what I need to do is I need to go find some images of some quails. So there are some specific quails uh, and dove hunting that they're going to be talking about here. In this case, it's uh, quail and pheasant hunting. But we need to go through and we need to find images of these two uh, birds. So I'm going to go in here. I'm just going to type in pheasant. No luck. Apparently pheasant comes up with present.
So currently, right now, I'm just looking to get the layout of the entire page. So I'm actually really liking this. It has this gold line here. I'm actually going to use this a couple times to break up the page here. But I'm really enjoying this gold line. I think it's I think it's a really good page divider here. And what my goal is is to keep everything in strips. So that way, when it goes on mobile, it's very easy to not only manipulate and modify, but also it's easy to read. Obviously, there's a, there's a, too little text here, but that's okay. This is something to work with. And now that I have a good layout of what I want future pages to look like, I can just copy and duplicate over and over and over again and actually get what I'm looking for. And this is where I think a lot of people go wrong. They think that each page needs to have something crazy going on in it. And that's not the case. It's... People think that when they make pages online, they need to constantly be just making a completely custom page. And that's not the case. If you go on a lot of websites, it's typically a replication of many of the other pages. Now, granted, if you have dozens and dozens and dozens of pages, it's probably going to get a little stagnant and a little boring using the exact same style each time. But for the most part, especially for small websites, it's actually uniform to have each page look very similar, similar color, similar style, similar fonts, similar layout, right? It just makes it easier to navigate, especially you being the consumer. Now for other companies, Fortune 500 companies, you have Apple, GoPro. Yes, all their pages are going to be quite different. But in this case, for what they're looking for and what we need to do, it doesn't really make sense to go rebuild each page from the, from scratch and make it look completely unique. It's just not how it's needed. So by making a uniform page just like this, we can now go through and we can have everything done correctly. Now, I have to definitely add more text here, but at least I have a good layout for other pages that I'm going to be making through this process. So don't think if you're building this yourself, oh my God, I need to have crazy amounts of content and crazy amounts of unique looking pages. That's not the case, right? I'm going to have several different pages, but they're just going to be full of different information. And if you go on a lot of most people's websites, it's very much so the same process.
Alrighty, so that is it. So obviously the website is not complete yet, but I'm stepping away from it for a little while. I need a little bit of a break, grab some lunch, but ultimately massive transformation. We've added a significant amount more pages. We've constantly been going through it. Now it actually tells people what it does. Now I understand that some of you guys are looking at this and be like, it's not ready. Obviously it's not ready. I need to add a lot more content. I'm working on what he had on his old website. I wanted to replicate that. We've already had a conversation. He wanted a lot of the same pages, a lot of the same content. And now that I have a good foundation, I mean a rock solid foundation, now I can go through and start adding on the sprinkling touches of maybe a little bit more verbiage or maybe some different images. This is where a lot of people seem to go awry. They worry so much about each and every single page that they lose sight of the entire website. And this is a bad process. Work from the ground up, right? When you're building a house, right? You don't worry about the paint going in the rooms until the room is actually made, right? So get a good foundation, frame the entire website out, and then progressively as time goes on, right? You finish one room, then you finish the next room, then you finish the next room, right? Just like you would build a house, foundation, frame it out, then you do your plumbing, your electricity, then you go through, you put your sheetrock up, right? Then you do your carpets and any other accoutrements. Same process, right? Build out the entire website, get a good foundation, then go through, start doing, okay, great. I need to adjust this. I need to modify this. I need to adjust this. And then when you're done with the whole website for the most part, right? Then you go through and you add in the finishing touches, right? So that's better content that's adjusting those images. But right now we have a rock solid layout. So now it's just Paint on the walls. It's the easy stuff. That was, believe it or not, all the hard stuff. And this is where a lot of people seem to go wrong. They worry so much about the paint on the walls when it really doesn't matter yet. So I hope you guys found value in this. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys did, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, little notification bell. And I will see you guys later. Bye.